So I actually found out about Instagram story ads in early 2017 when I was doing Iman Gatti's Influenza Ignited course. And like he was the one who got me onto Instagram story ads because in his course he actually showed us how to like gain between 50 and I think it's like 100 followers a day by using Instagram story ads and getting like a really low cost per click. And uh, for a while uh, I utilized it, you know, I really did grow my uh, social media profile because um, one of the reasons why I started doing it was because I think it was 2016 when I started Instagram, it was really easy to grow it. Like all you need to do was find out what time was the best time to post, post consistently, like use 30 hashtags, follow as many people as possible, like as many posts as po possible, and you just grew like crazy. Then after a while, Instagram uh, introduced the algorithm and then like from then onwards, it was barely impossible to, like, to grow organically on Instagram. And you can tell, like, look at your favorite influencers, like chances are they have lost followers since then. And the only way to actually gain followers now is by either doing viral videos or photos. So, you know, if you're a girl, it's a bit easier than if you're a, you know, if you're a guy or by using paid traffic and paid traffic is like a shortcut to, to, to getting like a big follow on on Instagram. Now there's two ways you can actually use Instagram stories, uh, Instagram story ads. You can go really like niche so that get a really specific target audience. Uh, this is really good if you've got like a digital product and uh, like you're trying to sell that digital product to people that are like considered warm leads. So you can really focus on that target audience or if you're just in it for the social proof, so you just want to build your social media profile, then you can go really broad and only have like a few specific um, like topics and interests that you want to target. And that way you can keep it really broad and you can just reach as many people as possible. And that is great for just build up your social media profile. So uh, I'm going to leave it up to you, like which one of the two you're going to choose. I'm actually going to show you guys how to do the, the latter. So how to actually reach as many people as possible and really build up that social proof. So without further ado, let's hop onto the computer. So guys, welcome to uh, Facebook Ad Manager. Um, the reason why we're doing Facebook Ad Manager is because Instagram is actually owned by Facebook. So if you wanna post Instagram story ads, then you need to do it through the Facebook Ad Manager as well. So first things first, let's just view our actual Instagram story. Uh, just created this really quick through uh, Final Cut Pro. I'll just play it back to the start. So this is what it actually looks like. Let me just break it down for you guys. First thing, hook. Do you want the laptop lifestyle? This is something that is really popular like in the digital marketing sphere. Everyone wants freedom, everyone wants that digital laptop lifestyle, you know, away from anywhere you want. So that's my hook point. That is to get like that is to get the people to like to stop what they're doing because like obviously the the scrolling through the Instagram stories, you know, the swiping away, swiping away, and this is supposed to like grab their attention, make them stop for a second just to view the rest of the video. Same goes for the second part. Do you want to earn money online and travel the world? Again, another hook. And then the third text is to create a little bit more of authority. Click my profile picture to see how I did it. And then we've got a little red arrow pointing out my profile picture where it is normally here. They don't have to necessarily click on my profile picture. They can also swipe up uh, using the swipe up feature and then you'll go on my Instagram as well. So how to create this? I've just used Final Cut Pro. If you've got Final Cut Pro, what you do is you do Command and J, change the properties. Um, of the project to 1080 uh, with 1920 height so it's vertically instead of horizontally and what you can also do you can just use canva canva is what i call uh, like photoshop for dummies basically you can just create like really nice graphics and it's so easy to do by the way i will get the occasional uh, ads and my apologies for that uh, i've actually turned off my ad blocker but more on that in a different video i'll explain to you why uh, later on so you click on this I'm sorry it is in Dutch but this just means that you can create like a custom size so we're going to do 1080 by 1920 height then you click on create canvas and there we go we can start creating our own ads but we've already got an ad so that's what I'm not going to do today so close this 
So if you click on these little eyes here, then you can see like what each button means. We're gonna go for traffic, which is to send more people to a destination on or off of Facebook, such as a website, app, or messenger conversation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and reach as many people as possible and get as many people as possible to click on my profile and follow me. Uh, like obviously, well to be honest, I will end up posting this ad, but uh, like if I do it seriously, then what I do is I do split testing, and what split testing does is it allows us to create two separate ads. So what we can do is uh, we can have this ad running, but then with like, a different text or with a different photo, and then with the split test you can see which one converts best, and then the the one where it converts best it'll get more budget than the one that doesn't convert as much. So anyway, that is all fine. We can give it a name. Instagram story ad for my YouTube video. Continue. There we go. Ad set name. Just do IG ad YouTube vid. Traffic website. That is fine. We're going to send it to my Instagram. Custom audience and location. So if I'd done the Netherlands, I would reach 11 million people. And that is fine. That is quite a large uh, amount of people to reach. But like I said, we really are going for traffic and reach this time, and we want a very low cost per click. So what we're going to do is we're going to go onto locations, we're going to browse, and then select all countries, and then we are going to practically reach the entire world, or any, anyone that's on Facebook and Instagram, which is 2 billion people. That is very large, to be honest, we will narrow that down a little bit soon. Age, 18 to 65, yeah, age doesn't really bother me too much, you know, if you're 65 and willing to learn about social media marketing, that's fine with me. Language, language is quite important, we do want to be English. There's no point in having, like, I don't know, someone from Afghanistan not being able to speak English and, like, follow my content and not understand what my captions mean. Detailed targeting, so this way we're going to narrow it down a little bit. Uh, to be honest, it's already gone down to 1 billion uh, with the English detailed dog and so what we'll do is we'll start with the big one digital marketing obviously if you're like let's say for example you're into the fitness industry or fitness niche then obviously here you'll do bodybuilding you know christian guzman uh, weight loss you know all that lot but for now or because i am in more of like the entrepreneurial digital marketing sphere i'll do uh, these graphics topics and interests digital marketing uh, what else we do ty lopez Uh, seen Gary V there. Gary V, sure. Let's see what else he suggests. Uh, social media marketing. Yeah, let's do Grant Cardone as well. So. Yeah, that's actually enough for me. So with this audience, I will reach potentially 89 million people. I always click on this, expand interest when it may increase link clicks at a lower cost per link click. So basically what that does is uh, it looks at these interests and then it will find similar interests or like it will find people that will have similar interests to these interests and then reach them as well. So potential reach 1 billion, 1 million, no, 1 billion, 100 million people. Uh, let's see what else don't need to save the audience so when you create an ad or on Facebook or Instagram it will always say automatic placement recommended we are actually going to edit this and we're going to click on Instagram stories so unclick all these boom boom and then just click on the Instagram story one okay so there we go uh, specific mobile device operating systems no that's fine daily budget so what we can do here we've got two options daily budget so we can just type in like 20 euro here and then 20 euros a day will come off your account and you will spend 20 euros or we can do a lifetime budget where if we do a lifetime budget of 20 euros then we won't spend any more than 20 euros total and uh, what shall we do to be honest, let's just go for as small as possible two euros a day and then let's just do it for like two weeks or so what is it the 10th of the day so keep running to the 24th of may let's see 24th of may just waiting for it to uh two euros a day not 20. there we go 14 days i'm most spending more than 28 months let's just do the 26 so it's an even 30 
32. There we go, 30. Okay, optimization for ad delivery, link clicks, that is fine. We're not gonna set a bid cap. So basically, uh, when you're posting ads, then basically you're bidding against other people or you're competing against other people. So let's say you bid for 15 cents per link click and someone else bids 20 cents per link click, then obviously they're gonna get the ad space. But we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna let Facebook do its thing. So that is all fine. We're gonna reach potentially 270 million people. Identity, let's just go on to my personal brand. There we go. Instagram account, personal brand. Okay, so we've got a video. Just click on that. Upload video. Instagram stories, there we go. Okay, so while that is loading, we'll come down to here. So what we want to do is the people that don't so what we want to do is the people that don't actually click on my profile picture, we want to give them the option to swipe up as well and then end up on my Instagram page regardless. So there we go. Don't know what that, all that means. Get rid of that. Learn more. It's fine. Okay, so that is all fine. If you've got a Facebook pixel, use that as well. Facebook pixel allows you to retarget people that have either clicked on your links or viewed your pages. Uh, so that is all fine. So I'm just waiting for this to load now and then... Uh, we can start editing the video as well. So Facebook is actually quite picky with photos uh, with a lot of text. So if you've got a lot of text on your photos, then like it might not show it to the audience that it's supposed to show it to. So a handy little tool for that is a text overlay tool. You can upload your image here and then it will get rated by uh, the overlay tool. And if you've got a lot of text, then your ad may not run. And if like your image text is low, then it will might like it will reach a slightly lower audience. So we always want to aim for a text okay. So if you notice that your text is like medium or low, then you can go back into Photoshop or Canva. You know, like make the text a little bit smaller and then re-upload it again to the text overlay tool just to check it. My video is uploaded. So what I've noticed is that if I keep my thumbnail as that then that will get flagged as too much text. So an easy way around it is you just click on a thumbnail without text and more often than not, it'll just get accepted regardless. So there you go, guys. That is all done. Click on confirm. And there we go. We've just posted our Instagram story ad. Guys, that is how easy it actually is. Like with, with this method, by posting Instagram stories, you can potentially gain between the 50 and what, like 120 followers a day. I do have to mention though that you can potentially reach that many people and get that many people to follow you, but it does like, uh, you will need to have like a good personal brand. And if you're selling digital products, then you actually do need to have digital products that provide value and information that people need. So if your personal brand is awful, like if you just got like, uh, just like random generic quotes and not like your, your, your captions aren't really like informative or providing value or entertaining, then no, you will not gain all these followers. But if your personal brand's on point, you know, if you're really providing value, you know, you're engaging with the community, they can see that like you're a legit profile and the digital products that you're trying to sell are like really informative, then this could be a potential game changer for you. Guys, that is all I got for today. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video. L also, let me know like if you've ever posted Instagram story ads and your like, experiences with it. Other than that, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.